Welcome to the Zach's Roundtable Review, a discussion of current events affecting investors as well as other topics of financial interest featuring the analysts and editors of Zacks.com. There's a lot going on around the world that's causing investor anxiety. We are going to talk about all of it with our Roundtable panelists this week, our uh, equity strategists Tracy Reinick and Todd Bunton, and our market maven, <laughs> Chief Chief yeah. Technician Kevin Matris, right. making one of his rare appearances here at the round table. So, Tracy, you say that uh, the sell-off of the past five or six days in our stock market here, a direct result of the emerging market scare. Yeah, um, I mean, we're in earnings season, so sometimes that will, you know, have a boost or a sell-off. But, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, but that's not what's causing this. It's definitely what's going on in the emerging markets. We've had some issues with China now recently. Um, we have that whole wealth management product scare that's this week, but apparently it, that's on hold. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of questions about China. We have the Turkish um, you know, raising of the interest rates. South that, Africa that, also. Yes, we've got that. There's some political unrest in Thailand. Everybody's watching that. No one really knows what's going on in India either. There's some issues there. So, yes, suddenly and we're all concerned. All with the end of the Fed meeting this week. Well, yeah, we have that going on. So we'll see, you know, there's a lot of questions about whether or not they're going to somehow respond to everything that's going right. on in the emerging markets. Continue so, tapering. All yes, that. you know, the stock market doesn't like uncertainty. And right now there's a lot of uncertainty. All right, well, Todd, begs to differ with you on the earnings front because he thinks that earnings, you know, let's face it, this has not been a uh, stellar performance as far as earnings for Q4 is concerned. It's been a real mixed bag. It has. And, and it seems as though, Todd, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that the market is finding some negative in even the best of earnings reports out there. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely see that. Uh, Apple was an example. I mean, they, they, they beat, uh, guidance was a little soft, but the stock was down almost 9%. But, but overall, if you look at the numbers on terms of a beat ratio, on earnings and revenue and rev and earnings growth, it's actually been a, a decent quarter historically, right. maybe even slightly above average. But the difference is this year the market's paying attention to earnings. Last year <laughs> it was it was a similar story. We would see we would see you know a healthy number of beats, but you'd see guidance soften and estimates right. come down. But the market wouldn't care because the Fed was continuing to pump eighty five billion dollars a month you know, in, in bond buying. And that's starting to taper, as we all know, and we'll find out more today if they're going to continue that. Right. And, uh, but yeah, the market's starting to pay more attention to the fundamentals, and they're just really not that great, at least not to support the 30% increase we saw in the S&P last year. So those lofty guidance expectations are not coming to fruition. Absolutely not. And if you look at Q1 earnings estimates, those have already started to come down as we progress through earnings season, just a nice stair-step pattern down. All right. it's, uh, but that's, you know, that's par for the course that we've had. Looking over at Mr. Matris, why do I get the feeling you're going to refute all of what we've just <laughs> no, said? No, I'm just saying, I mean, the Fed is still pumping $75 yeah. billion into the market. So right. it's not as if they removed everything. But yeah, I think the market is pulling back. It's all due to the emerging market concerns. But if you look at it, I think this is totally overblown. First off, the emerging markets right now, I think they're down like 7.5% for the year. Uh, the S&P, I think, is down 3 or maybe 35 after today. Uh, but it, it feels as if the market is pricing in a full-blown contagion and we are nowhere near a full-blown contagion Just these the are isolated yeah, yeah these are isolated areas and it looks as if the local governments are trying to take take care of that all right so let's bring it a little closer to home we have as we uh, have said the end of the uh, two-day fed meeting today uh wednesday here as we sit and uh, and tape this um what do you think uh, another round of uh, tapering uh, in the offing and if there is is more tapering going to bring the Fed closer to raising interest rates? Um, well, I'll take a shot at that. I think, who knows what they're going to do. We, we keep <laughs> I, getting faked out hey, I by second what they're going to do. Who knows? <laughs> but right. they've only tapered one time <coughs> so far. Right. Um, they've only gone down the $10 billion, So I think they stay the course. I think they do another $10 billion and then so that means $65 billion. Um, you know, the next month. Right. So I, I think they don't, with all the other uncertainty out there, why would they want to add it to it even more? I think they just stay, stick with what it is. It's Bernanke's last um, meeting as Fed chairman. He Give it off to well. Yellen while they continue with the same policy. You don't and think he wants to go out in a blaze of glory? No. Well, he already is going out in a blaze of glory. He started this. He now began well, the end of yeah. it. So he walks out of here like a hero. Yeah. Hopefully the, uh, the world doesn't burn. But yeah, he gets out of here in a blaze of glory. That's fantastic. Okay. So are the uh, bulls in charge yet or are the bears in charge now? The bulls are still in charge. Really? 
I think, yeah, I think maybe <laughs> longer term, but right now there there is a lot of uncertainty, a lot of volatility, which is a normal, healthy right. market. Yeah. I think investors for, got spoiled last year with uh, the steady, smooth upward returns. But, you know, there's going to be a lot more tug and war this year. Right. And I think, like I said earlier about earnings, investors are going to start paying more attention to the fundamentals. And those just aren't that great right now. The market was ripe for a pullback. This was just the excuse for them to do so. You saw tons of investors pile in at the end of the year. So prior to the end of the year, I think the State Street Investor Confidence Index, I think, came out with a print of like 92 or 93. Mm -hmm. If you get over 100, that shows uh, professional investors are interested in adding risk to their portfolio, i.e. buying stocks, as opposed to trying to add more safety. Yesterday, the State Street Investor Confidence Index came in at 114. So not only was that one of the highest readings we've seen in a while, it was over 100 for Asia, it was over 100 for uh, Europe, and I think that you saw all of these pros chasing returns at the end of the year to make their books look pretty. You probably are looking at just a, a, a small little pullback. They were looking for a catalyst. This was it. And I think this is going to blow over. I think the market's only going to come down maybe 5 6% total, which only means another 1.5% or 2% from here. Then I think we're off to the races. I think we still see our 12 to 15% by year's end. There's going to be a lot of bumps in the road. There's going to be a lots of hand wringing and everything. Mm -hmm. There are going to be distinct winners and losers. Not everything is going to go up like it did last year. But I think the market was looking for a pullback. It's gotten its reason. Once we get through this, I think we go back up. So overall, uh, it'll net out into a healthy correction. Is what I you're think saying. so. Okay, thanks for helping us put that in perspective. One thing we'd like you to pay attention to from here is the top stock picks of the week from these folks. That is in our next segment, so click on over.